Hey, my name's Ralph, I'm a Flex Film, and we're filming right in the middle of our business day because I just had a cool idea. I'm gonna call this video Flat Glass 101. There's a lot of cool opportunities to make money on the weekends and during slow times, and this video is gonna show you how to do it. The way I think we ought to break this video down is let's identify the customer's problems. Let's know what technologies are available for us to solve the problems and let's learn how to apply the technology. That's what we're gonna do in this video. Okay, so when we have a customer, okay, and the customer has a problem, we already know what those problems could possibly be. By visiting the job, we learn what those problems are and we let the customer prioritize those problems for us. And these problems could be things like glare, heat, fade, or maybe privacy or other special needs they may have. But once we determine what those problems are, we're gonna solve them. So before we choose a technology that we know will solve the problem, we have to understand the technologies and know which ones are available, and that's what we're going to discuss next. All right, I've, I've identified about six technologies in the flat glass industry that are the what I consider the foundation of the industry, and I'm going to go over those technologies one at a time and let you know briefly what they are. Hey, the first technology that I have to bring up first is the uh, good old reflective series. It's also known as mirror tint. You know, it's a vapor coated polyester is one of the most economical choices. You get a lot of bang for your buck. It blocks out a lot of solar energy and uh, it's just been around a long time and it's, it's here to stay. Okay, the second technology is called the sputtered series. Very similar to the reflective series. A little more tame in color. Comes in a bronze and a neutral. The neutral really looks like natural glass on a residential application. A little more pricey, but it does block out a lot of solar energy. Okay, the third technology is called the Dual Reflective Series. It's actually constructed the way it sounds. It has one layer of non-reflective polyester and the other layer of metallized polyester, which makes it very reflective from the outside looking in. From the inside looking out, it's not very reflective at all. It actually is very economical. It has a variety of uses. You can put it on all types of glass. And um, uh, Dual Reflective is probably one of the most popular technologies to this day. Our fourth technology is ceramic window film. Okay, it, it's built to absorb solar energy. It doesn't drastically change the appearance of what you're putting it on. It's a little bit expensive compared to some of the other technology, but it solves a niche where a customer may want to stop heat and fade, but not know there's any film on the glass. That's where it's really popular. Our fifth technology is safety and security film. These films are really thick. There's a lot of glue on them too but they can be tinted, they can be clear. See, they can provide protection against shattering, break-in deterrent, storm protection, vandalism. There's many applications for this product and it solves a variety of problems. Our sixth technology that we're gonna discuss is our specialty decorative series, okay? Mainly consists of whiteout and blackout materials that have all kind of application and decorative window film that comes in shapes, colors, patterns, that the possibilities are just endless. Okay, so we've engaged our customer. We've tried to solve some problems by going to the job. We've listened. We, we, we're even familiar with technologies that are available to us to solve problems. But see, our job's not over yet. We have to be aware of what we're gonna put our window film on. In other words, there, there are things that we've got to be aware of in our job so that we don't have any other problems that could occur with flat glass window films. For example, we want to know, if, are we dealing with a double or single pane glass? Are we de dealing with something that's tinted, is clear, or may have low E? Are we dealing with something that's tempered or plate, also known as annealed glass? Are we dealing with uh, a window that's big or small? Are we looking at a wood frame, a metal frame, maybe a plastic frame? What, what's our exposure? Is it north, south, east, west? Heck, if it faces east or west, we're gonna get direct sunlight at some point, either morning or evening. What about the shading, okay? If there's anything that shades our window throughout the day, we might have to deal with thermal expansion. You know, that could cause glass to crack. We even have to figure out if, is the application that we're looking into gonna be on the interior or the exterior? These are factors we have to consider before we put anything on the glass so that we know we can make the job free and clear of problems and safe. Hey, flat glass is a great opportunity. You can certainly make extra money on the weekends and when you know things are slow. It seems like in the flat glass business, 
when it slows down in the automotive, the flat glass picks up. So it really does help the automotive window tanner. It's also less experience required. You know, if you have a, the experience necessary to do a car, you certainly have the experience necessary to install flat glass. You know, don't be so overwhelmed about this video. There's a lot of little bullet points and things to remember, but you know, we can help you. We have film to glass charts, and you can always call me. I'll, I love talking about 10. I'm here to help.